Lee Anderson said you once asked him to come over to reform before. Um, he's just lost the Conservative whip. Would you like to issue that invitation? I don't know what's going on in the Tory party, and frankly, I don't care. They're toxic, they're infighting. Who knows what they stand for? They've broken Britain. I've just finished a speech when I've set out how we're going to save Britain, and we're ready for a general election whenever it is. I've heard this week that they might even bring it forward to May. Sunak's panicking as he sinks below the waves. I'm not interested in pathetic Tory squabbling. What I'm interested in is our policies, the contract that we've put forward today, that actually is the essential U-turn we've got to do, literally to save Britain from going bust, uh, essentially from both morally, financially and culturally. We are at an existential threat in the state of our country. So I said, and I've just literally come off stage, I said, bring it on. The sooner the election is, the better. People want, we, we want rid of the Tories. We're sick of them. We're sick of this ridiculous infighting. We want an election. We want to put our case to the British people and we're going to get a fantastic hearing. I know it. I can sense it. Uh, we're ready for it. You were talking a lot about immigration in that speech. You were also talking about the pro-Palestinian marches and people not feeling safe. Can you just give us a flavour of your views on this, these marches? What should happen? Have they gone too far? And, and why the police did not stop that projection of from the river to the sea the other day going on to Big Ben? The police's behaviour has been absolutely disgraceful. Frankly, Sir Mark Rowley should resign. The man is incompetent. He's weak. He's gutless. I was the first one to call out that these marches would incite hate, violence and anti-Semitism. I called that out in the first week after the horrific October 7th attacks and I've been proven sadly completely right. If you leave a vacuum then evil will prevail and that is what is happening. I've been into some of these marches. I've asked them for example whether they'd, they you know, want the hostages to be released, whether they condemn that terror group Hamas, whether they condemn October 7th. I get shouted at, I get abused, it's vile, they ramp up the music. These people are not who we are. They're not part of the British culture and we've got to stand up against it. Otherwise, democracy is under threat.